The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Welcome to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and even some bizarre international treats. Head-to-head battles or alone or new releases. I mean, we're, we're branching out. We got it all today. I am Jess, my panel of experts. We're going to start with our Ed. Hello. Hello, Mikey. Hello. Andy. Hello. And Pop-Tarts. Pop tarts. Pop <laughs> <laughs> so today's kind of a mashup. I think we're doing two different challenges in one. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really started out with the pop tart bites. Yep. And we thought, you know, the pop tart bites only yeah. come in two flavors right now. Let's be honest. Pop tarts don't bite. No. <laughs> They're tart. They, they, they come in well, the, supposed to be. the strawberry and the brown sugar cinnamon. Okay. And we couldn't locate the brown sugar cinnamon, but everyone knows what that tastes yeah. like. It's so, delicious. So we wanted to get the full size. Okay. Strawberry's do, classic. Do a little comparison yeah. of, you know, the ratio of the filling and sort of see how we feel about the bite size versus the full. Mm. I'm kind of in- interested to see if the texture is the same. I'm sure it is. I'm just wondering how much filling you get. Because yeah, you never seem well, to get enough on the big ones. We're going to find out. And then hey, why don't they make a double stuff like the Oreo? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have to like send yeah. them like, a contract before we give them these solid gold Pop-tots ideas. Yeah. Double stuff. Oh, baby. I'd be uh-huh. in. Yeah. And then we'll buy the crap out of those. Just because I was probably hungry when I was shopping, <laughs> I, I saw two limited edition mm-hmm. Pop Tarts oh, yeah. and thought, well, we better try those. They well, got I've a couple never different flavors of splits. Before. The splits are cool. So we have the Pop Tart splits where half of it is a drizzled sugar cookie and the other half is frosted brownie batter, which I can understand why you just toss this in your cart. Well, I mean, this is beautiful. you have to buy it. And the other is... <laughs> My daughter's favorite. <laughs> frosted Sparkle-licious Cherry. And I hope it does have... Does oh, it have yeah. the unicorn on it? It's got the yeah. unicorns. It's got sayings. It's like girl power in a box. Just showed it All on right. the camera there. So this is... Okay, this is the Sparkle-licious Cherry, which actually looks pretty fun. So this unicorn cherry filling. And show the splits because that's fascinating. Can you guys see this? Yeah. yeah. We've actually got a couple different this flavors of the splits. pretty dynamite. About both of them. So it's two yeah. different like classic favorite treats. Sorry, I'm invading your personal that's all right. space with no, podcasts. But, but <laughs> a lot of people listening to this via a podcast. But look at these. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if we can just pull it back, I want to just... Because I've never even seen the packaging for the bites. Like, I've, I've heard of them. I was excited about them. But, I mean... The pictures look different. So just follow along with me when I say the pictures look different. They look like different treats. I am skeptical they're going to taste like the same thing. So this is the lineup we have rocking today. Wow. We got a lot to bum, do. Bum, bum. Pretty good, right? I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, but I've never tried the two limited ones. I've never even seen a split Pop-Tart, and I've never seen the so mini ones. we should start with the bites and the full. I'm rock and roll. This is good. Go from there. All right. Um, this is some kind of tricky special way to open it. are bo- pretty good, though. And both are strawberry. Yeah. So we're not going to rig it. Hey, Dave, was it you that was telling me that during like a snowstorm in New England, Walmart reports the most <laughs> popular <laughs> item for sale is strawberry pop tarts? That's right. Here we go, guys. Oh, bites. So Does delight. A down? delight bite. Perfect. There's uh, four in a pack. So we're going to kill this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Four? Well, there's eight pastries, but one single... Pastry yeah, is so, a serving so, size. So that's the ripoff of what this is. You want to split one? Yeah, I'll split one with you, uh. and then if we need to go back for a tiebreaker. But with Pop-Tarts, my only issue is if there's two in a package, I'm eating two in a package. I'm just going to do it. And then you call that one ser- two servings, so that's All not right. fair. Mm-hmm. I, I already have These look like Fig Newtons. Yeah, I have a lot of problems already with this Pop-Tarts bites. We told you. 150 calories per bag. And what do we got here on the... Uh, All right. Doesn't say. Well, the sprinkles look the same. Yeah, but this is per 200 toaster. calories mm-hmm. per one 
pop tart. Okay, so like I said, these do look different. So uh, this is a pop tart. Frosted pop tart. Frosted pop tart. Sprinkles, frosting, everything's fine. This one, the bites does technically have sprinkles and frosting. Same thing. But it does look like a fig Newton. I don't know. Does this man. company make fig Newtons? You know what's amazing? Mm -hmm. That the bite size one is almost twice as thick mm -hmm. as a regular one. I expected it to be flat like the other. And maybe I'm crazy, but the, the texture of the pastry part seems quite different in the mm -hmm. bite. It's softer. Yep. Fluffy. Less dry, I think. Yeah, it's like a Newton. Sorry, guys. I'm wiping off. I just nailed it with frosting and sprinkles. <laughs> I know. You sprinkled the mic? I did. I sprinkled the mic pretty good. At least it's not sticky. Well, no. let me tell you about Pop-Tarts while you enjoy those treats. Okay. It's a brand of toaster pastry that Kellogg introduced in 1964. Kellogg was originally known for Kellogg cornflakes. Um, mm -hmm. On a different podcast, I heard a fascinating, it was an hour long story of the Kellogg brothers. Pretty cool. I would uh, recommend that one. It's on the Stuff You Should Know podcast. And obviously that's something you should know. Well, that sounds awesome. The Stuff You Should Know podcast, they've just celebrated their one billionth download. Oh, my Congratulations. So, she is. But, um, you know, it's, it's a very interesting story about the two brothers. So let's see. What else do we got going on? In 1963, Post actually announced the toaster pastry. Post Toastums. Country squares, they were called at the time. Oh. But because they revealed it, Kellogg's went into high-speed mode and got their Pop-Tart out Good. almost right away. So it came out at virtually the same time. And as you can tell, uh, Pop-Tart certainly won that battle over time. Oh, yeah. And they came in four flavors originally. <laughs> Strawberry was one of the originals. Blueberry. Brown sugar, mm -hmm. well, brown sugar, cinnamon, blueberry, and apple currant. Mm. Were they always frosted? No. no. Funny Ooh. you should ask. <laughs> um, they were originally unfrosted. The frosted version was released in 1967, so three years mm -hmm. later. You know, they had concerns that the frosting wouldn't stand up in the toaster, but right. I don't know if they added more plastic or what <coughs> they did, but it, it certainly doesn't seem to melt. No. A little more confectioner sugar. It's it gets, more like shellac. It gets quite hot. I mean, oh, yeah. who here has not burned the roof of their mouth on a pop tart? Right. No one. <clears throat> it's part, part of the experience. Um, the interesting thing about the pop tart bites, you know, as I was doing research, I thought, oh, it says new on it, Color's right? Deeper. Yeah. There was actually in the 90s a Pop-Tart product called Pop-Tart Minis. <laughs> they looked very similar. I couldn't find the dimensions to figure out, well, did they bring it back with a different name? But I did find from 1995 this commercial. New Kellogg's Pop-Tarts Minis. Invented for your mouth. That mysterious place in your face you can't go anywhere without? So, they're pre-sized to fill your mouth with that Pop-Tarts toaster pastries taste wherever you go. Now, you can tingle your tongue, please your palate, and overjoy your uvula. That dangly thing in back of your throat? Anywhere. Whoa. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts Minis. Snacks in three flavors that please your mouth wherever you dare take it. Yum! So, huh. this is not a new concept. Ah. So they change the name right now. Bites is a, is the cool word or something. Mini used yeah. to be it. Like mini skirts oh. and stuff. That was huge then. So back in '95, the internet yep. was just starting off, right? So bites wasn't as. I actually have just noticed, words. and I, I showed Dave this. The filling on the pop tarts bites looks darker, significantly really? so yeah. than the actual pop tart. But it doesn't make any sense because they taste almost identical. It's just the texture thing. No, I find the breading on the actual pop tarts bites to taste more like a fig Newton, like yeah. a cake. You nailed yeah. it. You, you, you nailed it immediately. It, it, same company. I like them though. Fig Newton. Same That's company? what I was asking. Yeah. I was like, is it the same I thing? I don't believe so. I don't think those are. Because the things like almost Kellogg. look identical to like a shrunken Newton. 
I mean, Fig Newtons do have a, a very different taste oh, to yeah, their outside, the but the feeling and the look of it is, oh. is very similar to a Fig Newton. I think the cake's pretty darn similar, in my opinion. Mm. You get well. You got to eat a strawberry fig newton when they make them. Mm. That's why I probably taste them. Because you you, the fig will absorb into it, and you get that pungent taste I in the real newton. Fig, fig so is so what, good. What would you rather? I, don't know, I actually kind of like these. I like the fluffiness of the little guys. If it wasn't called a, a pop tart because it doesn't taste like a pop tart, I would have the bites again because I find them convenient and cute. Mm -hmm. It's like the Brussels sprout of the snack world. Mm. The tiny little cabbage. The Brussels sprout of the snack world. The pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not exactly, but you know what I mean. But I, I don't know. I thought they were very good. They just, mm, there's something that doesn't, the texture is not pop tart. Like mm. if somebody gave that to me, I would say, it's, oh, this is a new treat. It, it's more cookie like, I mm. think, yeah. instead of the pastry. It's like, it's like a cake. It's like a cake with filling and frosting. All right, I'm going to level with you. I am. How about a key lime pie? Oh, pie. Do they it? make them? No. They might have. I mean, they've made a million one flavors. For free. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they do. Well, I doubt they do anymore. I've never seen it. Yeah, the, the Fig Newtons are a Nabisco product. Oh. Okay. Nabisco. Hey, you want to just split a pack? Sure. Yeah. We if, don't. If there Sharing was a, is caring. If there was a Pop-Tart mini fig, you'd have the Fig Newton. I'm yeah. pretty excited about the split And thing. also probably a lawsuit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so this wow. is the duo. Oh, All right. I like it. Is. So they're very clearly two different things. My frostings have intermingled. Mine too, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I mean, I feel like they're friendly. Is it really okay? Uh, well, it's it's going to the same place, honey. Oh so boy. you'll be fine. And then it's very different when I break it open. The oh, fudgy yeah. part, I've only got about a third coverage versus yeah. two thirds. Is it the same everywhere? Yeah. I only yeah. have like a very thin stripe of the brownie batter, but I have a larger part. Maybe it's just because the centerpiece is so big. Oh man, it looks like the compensating. You got a better fudge stripe on the top. It tastes like the s'mores one without the marshmallow. That's basically it. Now they make another one that actually has a graham cracker type pop tart, which is pretty good. That sounds amazing. I mean, the problem yeah. with the full size versus the minis is the full size are kind of dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Dave, what would you do to combat the dryness? I'll kill you. I'd put butter on it. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Have nice. you ever put butter on a pop tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Mm. And it's in there for and Obviously. <laughs> and I had never done that until Dave served me <laughs> a pop tart with butter on it, and it was fantastic. It was so freaking good. If I didn't it love so Seth MacFarlane well. as much as I do, I would be very mad at him for that song. <laughs> the, the one thing. Um, that I was thinking, you know, mm. with these little ones, it's kind of hard to butter them. So you know what you do? Dip it in. Spray yeah, butter. Yeah, you get some Spray. drawn butter, like with a lobster. Uh. <laughs> you know, Pretty melted nice butter on the side. Yeah, and oh. dip it. Bad. Little, little dip, butter nice dip. butter dip. I, if you do that again, I would like to see it. Maybe not do it, but I would like to see it. No, I do so, it. So, not happy with this uh, duo. Mm -mm. No. First off, it's a pop tart. And it's not tart at all. No. And it's it's fake tasting. And um, although there's only a little bit of chocolate, at least there's some chocolate there on the side. On mm. the other side, it's like nothing. Nothing. No. Um, the stripe thing isn't working for me. No. I mean, I want a frosted pop tart, not these blue stripes. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, what do we put here? Just put three blue stripes and squiggle them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not offended yeah, by the word tart. Sugar cookie. Is, is, it's is, just a very is this splits thing. a limited edition? Yeah. yeah. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people are going to buy it. It's kind of interesting, <clears throat> especially if you have, you know, two kids. One of them likes brownie and one of them likes sugar cookie. Yeah, something like that. You break it in half. No, you just say suck it up and eat it. They'll yeah. eat half of it, but, I mean, you're not losing Kid, a ton. Kids are not big on cross-contamination, Jeff. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. of them separate out every food item on the me? plate. And My daughter wants touch. different utensils for each item of food. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. If Thanks you're interested in this Pop-Tart duo, hurry up and get it because it ain't going to last long. No. <laughs> no. It's a loser. 
So now we're looking at the Unicorn Frosted Sparkalicious Cherry. Sparkalicious? It's, it's Unicorn. Okay, do you want Unicorn Power or they the did, Unicorn? Seriously? They did everything they can unicorn. on this one. Yeah. All right. I'm a, For I, the little girls to want oh yeah. this. It worked. All right, Dave. Let's see what we got here. Unicorn Limited Edition Pink with all kinds <laughs> of bright colors wow. and writing on it and... Uh, you want unicorn power or the lady? The Whichever lady you don't want. There you go. I'm going to bite the unicorn. Um, all right. These are. And that's another thing. So they put two different ones so the fighting can begin with the two little girls, exactly. right? Exactly. Because mm-hmm. one, one of each of these is a serving. So a kid is going to have one or the other. Can boys eat these two? One says unicorn power, which they can't read because they're too little to read yet. <laughs> and the other one has a cute little unicorn on it that they both want. It smells funny. And that's when the fight began. It's cherry. It's filled with Robitussin. <laughs> He's helping I mean, kids it sleep. does smell like cherry. I'll give it that. Well, it's not a great cherry flavor, though. That mm. is wildly unpleasant. A little bit on the artificial medicinal side. Yeah. I would spit this out if I had someone to spit it. We don't no, have the bucket. We, don't have the we bucket. didn't think we needed it. Better. Better? Better get a bucket. I'm going to throw up. I guess so. A bucket for Monsieur. <laughs> that is, n- that is not good. No. Like cherry ain't the answer. Should have put mm-hmm. strawberry in there. I love cherry, but this is not cutting it. I have, there's a little bit of hot fear no, going like, on right it's now. It's like eating the, just the skin of a maraschino. <laughs> well, we better talk some snack news then, while everybody's chomping on pop tarts. Please and thank you. Say. Pop tarts. Tart. It's so a New England thing. A tart. T A R. Pop tart. That's awful. Pop tart. How do you say it real? Tart. Pop tart. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can't do it. No. You no. tried though. Sounds so odd. So I'm gonna do a couple Valentine stories because why the heck not? Why right? the heck not? Come up. We previously reported that Neko Sweethearts will not be available this Valentine's yes. mm-hmm. Day. Apparently, this has caused some confusion amongst consumers. They're confused. There's none. Don't be confused. <laughs> Why aren't there any? Because they don't make it right now. <laughs> People aren't somebody, conversing much anymore anyway. Somebody so. bought it. The company went under. But I'm confused. They have Brock's menus. It's not that confused. Well, and this is where the confusion comes in. The Ferrara Candy Company has stepped forward amid the recent reports claiming a shortage of conversation hearts, which they make, mm-hmm. right, for the upcoming. And this is the Brox brand. Oh, okay. Conversation hearts. I think, you know, the confusion was when people said no sweethearts. Everybody thought, thought oh, you can't get hearts with little mm-hmm. things right. written on them. But it, they say Prox is and has been the leader in the conversation hearts category for years. Is yeah, there a whole one. category? Just two people that make it, <laughs> and that becomes a category? I yeah. think so. All right. Yeah, they're the ones that make the little box, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that cute little. Yeah, the sweethearts are the bigger jobs. In 2018, Prox had 55% market dollar share among the top four brands. I ah. don't have the oh. other brands. That's impressive. In terms of pounds sold, we outpaced our nearest former competitor nearly three to one. All right. By okay. saying former competitor, he must mean Neko. Neko. Yeah. So they sell three times as many as Neko. The company reports his tiny conversation hearts are available in classic flavors, including wintergreen, banana, orange, lemon, cherry, and grape, as well as on-trend flavors, including tropical fruit, very berry, sweet, and sour. <clears throat> I don't think I've had those. The only ones I've had taste like sugar. Yep. So I must have been eating the Neko one. And they, of course, updated theirs as well. They got a TTYL on there. Yeah. BFF. I don't like it. LYMY. Wait. What? Love you, miss you. Oh. Uh-huh. I love you, miss you too, Ed. As you well. Were, <laughs> expressions you such as. Uh, L-Y. Lime? A. Whatever. I don't, I don't know any of the LMFAO. Acronyms. Yeah. Laughing <laughs> my. And they got expressions such as text me, yowza, and I-L-U. 
Oh, I love you. I like yowza. Too lazy to spell stuff nowadays. Yowza makes me very happy. I actually do say yowza. Yeah, they got the they got the ones for the old people too. Be mine, love you, let's kiss, miss you, and hug me. The old people, the the ones who want sweet romance instead of hmm. text me, baby. That is correct. Remember, do, do you know what's kind of weird? I don't know if you've been watching the news lately. Delta got a big uproar over the Coca-Cola napkins about Saw exchanging it. phone numbers, and mm-hmm. we've been giving people. Kiss me on a Valentine heart for years. Right. Well played. Nobody's complained about that. Well, and their hearts were introduced in the 1960s, so okay. I think the Neko ones were quite a bit older. Mm-hmm. And finally, according to the National Confectioners Association, the NCA to us, Dynamite. 80% of Americans plan to share chocolate candy with friends, family, and loved ones during the Valentine's Day holiday. Sounds good. 80% is quite a few. I wonder what the percentage is for sharing it with your enemies. Well, now, that's really the question. Injecting it with decon? John Downs, president and CEO of the association, says, We know most Americans enjoy chocolate and candy two to three times per week, including at special candy moments like Valentine's Day. Yeah. I could care less about chocolate. Special candy moments. I got my daughter 72 snap bracelets for 14 bucks from Amazon. I think she'll get more use out of those than she will a box of chocolate. Mm. Wow. I'm buying too much chocolate. Well, I don't need any snap bracelets, whatever nope. they are. I'm having 72 of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> She'd probably share. <laughs> no, no, I don't want any. <laughs> you don't remember snap bracelets? The metal things inside the thing go, and they oh just yeah. wrap around your <laughs> wrist. How, how are we. Well, for. First off, I think we got to... I think we should say whether we like the bites or the regular Pop-Tart more. Yeah. Yeah? All right, I'm ready. Regular Pop-Tart. And I like you the bites. You would do regular Pop-Tart? Yeah. I like the bites. I just wish they had more flavors. I would do the bites over the Pop-Tarts. I just like the packaging. Okay. It's like it doesn't dry out. See, for me, it would be what time of day. I want my Pop-Tarts in the morning. But for a nice snack, I like the packaging on this, and you know, <coughs> snack these, authority, darling. These would be better for the car, the car, mm, car. <laughs> you know, you don't That's have the C-A-A-A. whole pop tart. <laughs> you don't H. have the whole pop tart. Yeah. What is this car of which because is because yeah. <laughs> car? You know, these hold together. The pop tart, if you're biting it, pieces might fall off. Mm-hmm. So Blows a hazard. This is a tough <clears throat> one because they're really not the same product at all. No, no. The bites are a cookie in my, my yeah. mind. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. Versus a toaster pastry, but if I only get to have one ever again, I got to go for the standard. Mm-hmm. So we have a direct tie. We have Dave and Ed for the regular Pop-Tarts, and we have me and Mikey for the Bites. And would you rather have a Pop-Tart without frosting or with? That's uh, just an unfair question. With. Yeah, I'm with, too. Not me. What? I'm without you frosting. You can't have butter, either. If I, oh, I want butter on it. There you go. <laughs> the frosting all messes if that up. If it's not frosted, you... <laughs> nah. It's just it's by the way, you butter the top, not the bottom of it. Better. Hmm. I've done both. Everything, okay. <laughs> ev- everything's better. Don't with judge. Butter. Yep. I'm not judging. I'm just sad I was left out. Now these are the both limited releases. Yeah. Limited edition and limited edition. Oh gosh. And they they really should be limited. Mm. Mm. Both of them should be limited, but I think clearly for me one is worse than the other. Yeah. And it's the split. Ugh. You're you're more <laughs> offended by the split. I am. Okay. So you say the unicorns. Unicorn is, is better than the two. Of the four, uh, it's going to be Pop-Tart, baby Pop-Tart, and then it's going to be um, the unicorn. unicorn, which is... Uh, Cherry. Not, yeah, not very good. <laughs> and the splits, which is not very good either. Because that offends yeah. you. It, it does. It I'm, exact- I'm offended by the uh, split. Yeah, the I'm exactly the same chewy. as Dave. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. They, so unicorn they, wins They jump the shock. <laughs> <laughs> they jump the shock with the splits. It's uh, Nobody wants a split. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. I'll probably have to go bites, strawberry, Pop-Tart. Um, probably splits because I like the splits a little more than a Robitussin. I mean, yeah, unicorn. All right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys it's a tie, direct tie again. Because you're staying with Mikey. Yeah, it's bites, strawberry, splits, and then the sparklicious. The sparklicious really like made me very unhappy. I don't know how my daughter can eat those damn things. 
No, so, it's all. It's the packaging. It's the, the yeah. thing of it. It looks and, fun. And it's how you, yeah. You, but you're going to sell it. You're going to sell it a second I've, time? No, limited edition. I don't think I've ever seen her actually finish one. Yeah. But she started. <laughs> I've probably got a bunch of these unicorn powers sitting in a box and baggy somewhere because she doesn't want that one. She right. She wants the unicorn. She wants the damn unicorn. Right. But I guess there's a Pop-Tart for everyone out yeah. there. Aww. Well, I hope you guys actually will try these and see what we're talking about because they're interesting. If you guys ever have an idea for a snack we should dig into, an idea of what to pair against each other, please contact us at the snack at gmail.com. Please let your snack eating friends know about us. Subscribe to it. Share it. Give us a five-star rating. We like those. This is the Snack Authority for Ed, Mikey, Dave, and myself. Have a wonderful week and pop tart on, man. <laughs> <laughs> The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.